Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing around with collage images and using the image itself for a bit of rainbow inspiration. So I've got this beautiful mandala. Um, these collage images are coming from Natalie May Scrapbooking. She's got a whole range of them. These are some of her latest ones. Um, I have run out of gel medium, which is why I'm using this glue. Um, usually I would just use gel medium and paint it down in the background. Um, so I've got this gorgeous rainbow mandala and then I'm going to put this image of the lady in the inside. Now I'm painting the back with gesso and the reason for that is that's going to help retain the colour of it and block out some of that amazing colour in the background. Um, just to help blend in the mandala and the images together I'm going in with a little bit of stamping over it just to grunge it up a little bit. But in the, in the full sheet of the um, collage paper it does actually have sort of writing and script in it so this helps kind of blend it all together a little bit to finish it off so I don't have the lady floating in midair um, on another sheet of the collage paper um, I've got these little butterflies so it's like she's coming out of the butterflies into this gorgeous mandala um, I found the last scrapings of my gel medium you can see there's not very much there um, to pop in and then I'm going back in with a little bit more stamping to again blend in that bottom bit at the um, at the at the bottom. Oh, can't even think of what I'm trying to say. Now I'm just going in with my black pen and doing some drawing over the top. And I'm being really, really loose with my pen. You can see I'm holding it quite high up and being really quite scribbly with it. Now you don't have to do this at all because it's just such a gorgeous detailed image. It's, it's really not necessary but I just like having that hand drawn image over it I suppose it's not hard to do because <laughs> the colours are already there you're just sort of segmenting it out a little bit um, but also it makes me feel a little bit better about using these gorgeous images in my journal if I've got some a little bit of involvement in them as well um, I often find that like I could have just put that into my journal as is, but it's not really my artwork. Yes, I've glued three pieces of paper down, but I haven't really done much else to it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Please don't get me wrong. I'm certainly not judging anyone. But for me, um, going back in and sort of drawing over the top or adding more colour or adding the stamping into the background just makes me feel a little bit involved in the artwork in some way. So with her hair, I'm just putting in some gorgeous white highlights. So she matches her own. I call them wisdom hairs um, and I'm also going in with some white just to balance up that black a little bit and lighten it up again. Um, having that little pop of black and white really really helps to finish off your image and again it's not too scary to do because you've got the guides of what's already there for you so you're not being expected to know where the, the shadows and the highlights fall they're already there for you on the page you're just boosting them I suppose. One thing to remember with any printed images is that black's never going to print truly black so um, if you do want a pop of real colour on it um, you're going to have to put some black on there. Just to blend in those little bottom bits of flowers I'm using my distress crayon, or not my distress, my watercolour crayons um, to sort of match up the colour a little bit and blend it in again just so um, that it doesn't have so much of that white halo. Again it's just a really little thing um, but it's, it's something that I like to do to make sure that um, I can blend it all in together. Finally what I'm going in is um, a rainbow colour of acrylic inks. So these are inks are from Jane Davenport and I'm trying to match the colours that are in the background somewhat. So I've just sprinkled them on and then I've just activated them with a little bit of water. So these are basically acrylic inks. Once they dry they are permanent. Um, you could use the Lindy's Magicals or whatever you want to use with these. Um, <clears throat> I just like the fact that these are now permanent so they're not going to shift or move. Um, from where I've left them. Finally, to finish off my page, I always like to have a quote on it. So I'm going in with Natalie's um, foam stamps and putting on the word bliss. 
And then I am putting in a drop shadow. Oh, actually, I'm outlining the entire um, letter just to push it out from the background, leaving a tiny, tiny little bit of black there. So it's like a millimeter, less than a millimeter in from the edge. So it's just a tiny little bit of black, which kind of bla uh, blames, frames <laughs> the white a little bit. I'm also using my pink alcohol marker just to put a bit of a drop shadow and give it almost that 3D effect and push it out from the background somewhat. Um, at the top, I want to write find your, so find your bliss at the top. And again, I'm trying to combine um, cursive writing and the stamped image to um, just give a little bit of um, variety and difference to the, the page. And I know I've talked about it before, but when I'm looking for quotes, I quite like looking at Pinterest because they do that quite regularly. They'll put quotes up, beautiful poster quotes, um, where they've combined my key letters and cursive letters, um, all sorts of different fonts together in a quite artistic way. So I, I get a lot of inspiration from looking at that. Once I've put my white on there, again, just like the letters below, instead of putting a highlight on with the white, I'm putting a, a shadow on with the black. This is just a carbon ink pen. Um, it's just got a really fine nib because it's obviously fine writing. I just wanted to have something really light with it. Um, so it wasn't going to hide everything else. So here's the finished page. I've got the rainbow, um, like all the colours in the background are inspired by the colours of the collage image I've used. So I haven't had to think very much about this, but I've got a complete page that I've had some input into um, and it was really enjoyable to do. So thank you so much for watching. If you've got this image, love to see what you've done with it. And until next time, bye for now.